man led Metro Police on a chase Sunday morning after officers say he tried to carjack a woman and kidnap her child. Peyton Kennedy is live outside the church in Madison now where police say it all started. And Nikel, police say that a woman was trying to get her three year old son out of the car. They were heading into the 1030 Sunday service when a man came up to talk to her. Now that man has been identified as the person you see here, 30 year old Javon Brown. So the two were reportedly in a conversation and then Brown forcibly tried to take her car keys and her child. Police say he also threatened to blow up the church, claiming to work for the president. A deacon at the church tells me they had staff monitoring the outside of the building and they were able to help the woman before the suspect ran away. After police arrived, they were alerted to a burglary next door at the Nashville Korean Seventh Day Adventist Church, where they found the suspect in one of the vans. Javon Brown ran again and broke into the garage of an empty home that's up for sale on Gilead Court behind the churches. He was arrested after they found him hiding in the attic. I spoke with a woman who saw all of the commotion. Take a listen. You get up in the morning, you never know what you're going to see. And you just have to be aware of your surroundings and just aware of everything around you, even when you're driving. So she lives in an apartment complex across from the church here. She says several residents in the area have had their cars broken into. But with this arrest happening, she also says that she's hopeful for safety improvements. I'm in Madison, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.